Hey, I'm Jessica Garnto, parent leader for Johnson County School Systems and parent advisory council member for the state school superintendent. I want to encourage all parents to be involved in your child's education, even at the high school level. It's easy to become less involved when your child gets older, but we know at the end of the day, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of parents. It's actually easier now to attend school meetings because most of them are virtual. So you can attend from the ball field while traveling from one place to the next or even from the comfort of your own home. Take advantage of this new way of doing things and hopefully I will see you on the next Google Meet. Hi, I am parent leader Petronia Scott and I am going to introduce a video bridging the gap between educators and families. My hope is that you all will get some new ideas for simplifying your communication to improve family engagement. As you watch the video, here are a few things to think about. What positivity came from COVID-19 in the area of family engagement? What is the most effective communication style to use when communicating with parents? What is the difference in a $5 word and a 50 cent word? Avoid using what when communicating with parents. Thank you for all you do and enjoy this training video. Good morning, I'm JJ, Parent Liaison for Johnson County Schools. Hope everybody's doing well. And today is virtual community-wide STEM day. Um, I'm here with my lovely assistant, Miss Blakely, and I have a very simple activity. I have a Ziploc bag of water and a sharp pencil. Um, my activity is a little more like a magic trick. So I'm so confident that it's gonna work, I'm gonna do it over Blakely's head. The idea is to stick the pencil through the bag without having any leaks. All right, so let's do this. I said not to jab it. Ah, it worked. All right, so I'm feeling like living on the edge today. I'm gonna try another one. All right, hold on, Blakely. Ah, okay, so you see it works. So apparently, um, the molecules that are made make up the bag actually seal around the pencil. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. So hopefully today you can do your own STEM activity and hope you're enjoying time at home with family and being outside. Good morning. I'm Mary Jo Buxton. I'm the probate judge here in Johnson County and I'm here today to help celebrate the community-wide virtual STEM day. We're going to do a little experiment where we blow something up. <laughs> um, we made a little volcano and we took a little play-doh and you can do a lot better job than I've done but you can just put it around a little small three ounce cup and uh, create what looks like a volcano. 
if you add baking soda, do it like Vanna. <laughs> Uh -oh. and add vinegar and we want to add a little food color to make it actually look like lava Is that enough? okay here we go first volcano on the courthouse square <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Happy virtual STEM day! Good morning. Before we go to work, our mother is making us film the STEM day video. You're welcome, Miss McCann. This lawnmower is a compound machine made up of simple machines. Sam is going to tell you about the simple machine. Well, for starters, we have the wheel and axle, which allows the mower to roll across the yard. Next, which is very important, we have our two levers, which go forward and back to move the machine forwards and backwards and then side to side. We're just naming a few, but lastly, we have the pulley system, which is driven by the motor, which drives the blades, which allows you to cut the grass. Now we'll turn over to Nicholas for our energy transformation. The energy transformation of this lawnmower starts off with chemical when you crank the motor up. The battery sends chemical energy. And then it goes to electrical to start the motor. And as the, mo as the lawnmower moves, it goes to mechanical. And as the engine heats up, it goes to thermal. We hope you enjoyed our STEM Day video. Today I'm going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up.